So it appears, Kelly, all of our elevator related <laughs> delays are out of the way. Montana State's offensive coordinator, Taylor Housewright, is who we're told was stuck in the elevator. And here comes the kickoff. We'll see how the ball travels today. That'll be interesting in the cold heading into the fourth quarter. And the first of many runs we expect to see today. Great push for Isaiah Davis, getting a couple yards shy of midfield. Second down and three for the Jackrabbits. Kronowski, the keeper, he slips one tackle to pick up the first down. Brought down to the 40 by the safety, Ryland Ord. Hines the tight end in motion off to the right side. Kronowski to throw for the first time. He's got it over the top, and it's a South Dakota State touchdown to Tucker Craft. 36 yards, the strike right through the heart of the Bobcats defense. Third down and short, Malat is in the slot. This could be a run from Chambers. Indeed it is, right between the tackles. And he gets leveled by Isaiah Stahlberg. It's Malat, he spins away from two defenders, but he's brought down right at the end of the play. Quarterback's decision making. Malat on the run, he can throw it here, he does. And a ping-ponging catch. Nicely done by Clee Van Thomas, who took two hits on his descent. A 19-yard catch. A lot to throw under heavy pressure into single coverage. Oh, what a catch by Thomas inside the 10-yard line. Flag is down as he reached out the right hand to make that catch. In his receiving core, started to make the 50-50 plays. You see the pressure that... South Dakota State tries to get on Malott, but if you don't get there, this is the result, man. Chambers by himself, gives it one more shot, and falls across the goal line. Touchdown Montana State on fourth and goal. Tackle box to find a little bit of softness, in this case getting in the end zone. Ball gets loose on the play. Blake Lesnar, the kicker, is trying to run it, and he gets pushed out of bounds around the five-yard line. Obviously could create ball security issues. Two running backs in the backfield. It's a throw to Jaden Yonke. Third down and six. Everybody on defense within five yards of the line of scrimmage. Ranowski, keeper, right to the first down marker. The initial spot is at the marker, and it is a South Dakota State first down. Still have to make a good decision at that position. They give it to Davis. He slips through an O'Reilly tackle. Shoulders off another and drags a third inside the red zone. That's 220 pounds of power. You're in the crowd and you can't feel them. Ranowski gives it off to Davis again on the 10th play of the drive. And he just keeps on falling forward. They're not wasting any time getting right back to the line here. Granowski sneaking it and he is into the checkerboard end zone. Mark told me he's his biggest fan and vice versa. He said he has learned perseverance from his brother, something that you see Mark play with out here as well, guys. Mark, who now has some catching up to do to his brother here today, trying to get South Dakota State to the national championship game. Amar Johnson, the running back, the catch, the first down, and a leveling tackle by Ty Okada from the 41. And it's Davis with a big hole to run through. And everybody in the rear view mirror. Touchdown Isaiah Davis. 41 yard scamper to the house. Off the field here on third down. The lot had time. And then all of a sudden it was wiped away. On the ground currently. Gronowski flings it up the sideline. Tucker Kraft who's already caught a touchdown, grabs that before he goes out of bounds. Here's Kraft, the tight end goes under center and gets the push for the first down. The Bobcats will get the ball to start the third quarter, but they'd love to have the score hold. Jack Robbins have other plans. Amar Johnson with a touchdown run. Bobcats here, if they can get something going, could double up. They're going to get the ball to start the second half, and Derek Snell goes high. They started the game with their two quarterback system. Sean Chambers went to the locker room, has not returned since the first drive. A dart down the middle, pass complete to Robbie Alston. That's his first catch of the day at 28 seconds and all three timeouts. A lot under pressure. 
slips the first and is brought down by the second, Cade Termeer. Last play of the first half, Glessner from 37. And it's a low kick, but it is good. And that gives Montana State nine at the break. They'll get the ball to start the third quarter. Your official online home for all 90 NCAA championships. South Dakota State right back to it. And a big play to start this drive. Jackson Yonke, his first touch of the day. And it's into Montana State territory. A Mahomes-esque throw on the angle there from Gronowski as he lowered the arm. Now hands off to Davis, bowling his way through defenders and staying upright to get the first down to the 30-yard line. Knocked off North Dakota State back in the middle of October on the road. Looking for a rematch, which would come in the championship game. The rare third down, seven yards to go, and Jackson Yonke sinking into the frozen turf makes the catch. All Missouri Valley Football Conference on the left side of that offensive line. It's floated to Johnson, and there's nobody in coverage. Another Jack Rabbits touchdown. That one the easiest of the day. Quick throw, and it works. Jaden Yonke. You are married to the profession. You are married to the team and the game. John Stiglmeyer has made a happy life out of both. And a great day for his South Dakota State Jackrabbits. Derek Snell on the return here for Montana State, barreling his way up the sideline. And this, if there's going to be a comeback, is what the Bobcats need here. All of FCS or FBS, just a yard a carry tonight. And part of the problem as Caleb Sanders there swallows up a lot, you see him scampering there like a cartoon character starting to run. Normally makes without a question. Lesnar hit from 37 to end the first half, and this try from 36 is good as well. A comeback effort as we start the fourth quarter, and Tommy Malott goes backwards. For Montana State to go for it on fourth and seven. Yeah, it would certainly. Well, there you go. And they draw up something that fails. Instead of straight up going for it, they tried to fake the punt, and the Jackrabbits, as they have been all day, were ready. Over, and South Dakota State takes over near midfield. Granowski throwing into traffic. Jackson Yonke, the receiver, on a return trip to the national championship game. They were there in the spring of 2021, and they may well be headed back if they keep playing like this for one more quarter. First and goal after these Isaiah Davis run of 19. Who was the QB last year, was not a runner. Bronowski gets flushed. He's only got two options to throw to, and he chooses option C on the Scantron. That's throw it away. And the field goal makes it a four-score game. What you talked about, the guys that don't cut it for one reason or another at the FBS level, as we see a quick pass over the middle by or it's to Taco Dowler. And Malat unleashes. That's a difficult catch to make. Cleveland Thomas. The playoffs. And then he made a magical run in the playoffs, but came up a little bit short in the national championship game. He throws into traffic again. And this time he pays for it. Adam Bach with the interception. That First time of the Roughing the passer. I it is. Defense, number 53. 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Malata the scramble from 10 yards out. And he's plunked out of bounds by Isaiah Stallbird. Malat veers left to the five. He's got room at the goal line. And Tommy Malat has a Montana State touchdown. Lee Van Thomas in motion. Austin running. He throws to the end zone, and it's knocked down. And, but two very good fan bases, as Taylor Davis talked about. And the largest crowd they've ever had here was back in 2019. So, so 
That's why that South Dakota State can go on the road and win in the Fargo Dome earlier this year. And so the rematch in the national title game is going to be certainly something to watch. Austin had plenty of time, but he did not throw it far enough. Coy Steele this time making the catch, only his second of the season. Entire program that just wanted to take one more step past where they were a year ago. And here they have done it. And the Dakotas are going to be front and center in Frisco in just a few weeks for a national championship opportunity. Brett Vegan, who was a senior at North Dakota State when John Stigelmeyer took over this South Dakota State program. His team season comes to an end here on the road in Brookings, South Dakota. Number one, South Dakota State has been a top FCS since the middle of October. North Dakota, South Dakota, those two states will have a Texas takeover on January 8th.